Black on black, no fucking sadists. Fuckin sadists. Yeah, one for me, one for my lady. On my Hollywood shit, I tell them fuck you, pay me. That's the type of shit you know that's gon' drive them crazy. What's up, guys? My name is Noah Watson. We're here in Trap Hut. And today I'm gonna be doing a trip tip. Bless. For oh my god. Today I'm gonna be doing a trick tip on 360 slide chubs. A little bit winded. I just spent the last half an hour trying to get those threes down for you, but you know it's a little sketchy here. So let's get right into the trick. Uh, I'm gonna be teaching you guys everything there is. Eh, like I can't talk. I'm gonna be teaching you. I'm gonna be teaching you guys everything there is to know about this trick. I'll start with uh, foot placement, and then I'll go to weight distribution, and you know I'll talk to you about common problems, show you variations. I may not show you them, but I'll tell you them. My skating is not really great today. You know, yeah, I just, I'm just gonna cover it all. So, let's get right into this trick, uh, this, uh, yeah, let's get right into this trick tip. When you are learning the slide, you're probably gonna wanna know how to do slide shows, which aren't very hard. It's like a step down from the three show. It's just like a 180, you jump in the air and land on your board. That'll help you become a little more confident with doing this trick, I think. I had to learn them first. And you know, there's not really many other tricks besides that that'll help you out. So, let's get right into this trick tip. I hope you can see my board. I'm gonna be uh, talking to you about, you know, foots. Yeah, you guys can see it. Now, I'm gonna move the camera. Okay, so, uh, foot placement and weight distribution. I'm gonna quickly talk to you about the front foot first because it's not really that important. You're just gonna wanna have it uh, tucked up right against your foot stop, assuming you have one, or put it uh, on top of your bolts, somewhere in between, maybe a little bit behind. Yeah, it's not that really, uh, not really a big deal. Uh, your back foot is really a crucial factor into learning this trick. You're gonna want to have your uh, back foot mainly over either the back bolts or on top both of the bolts. I wouldn't recommend having them much before, because that'll be harder to flick. You won't be able to get, you know, the whole 360 motion. And, you know, the tail, you could put your foot on the tail. I think it's harder, though. So I would recommend keeping your foot uh, over the bolts, for the most part. Oh, hiccup. Okay, so, uh, with the weight distribution on your back foot, you're gonna wanna have almost all your weight pushed towards the, uh, the toe side edge of your board on, you're gonna wanna have the weight, you're, you're gonna wanna, frick. Okay, so, uh, with, with weight distribution, you're gonna want to have most of the weight uh, towards your toe and your toe side edge of the board because that's where you're gonna kind of flick and get your 360 motion. Uh, you can also do a little bit of monkey toe maybe when learning that trick, it might be easier, but in the end, I think it's good to keep your foot mostly on the board. It's also a good habit to be, or to have. So yeah, you're gonna have the weight there and you're gonna flick, you're gonna flick it off. And yeah, let's get back into uh, the steps. All right, back into uh, the steps involved in learning this trick. So, once you get the foot placement down, what you're gonna do is when you're going into your slide, you're gonna wanna bend down quite a bit with both your, both your legs. More so uh, bend down on your, uh, with your back leg because you're gonna need to use it to spring up when you're, when you're throwing down the three. And uh, you're going into the slide and you have your legs bent down and once you get to the point where you're ready to flick it in the 360, flick it 360, you're gonna want to push down with your toe like I told you and flick it as hard as you can because usually at first you might not be able to get the 360 motion, you might be going only like 270-ish. So just flick as hard as you can, see where that gets you and then from there you can determine you know, whether you need to flick more if you're under rotating or flick less if you're over rotating more so it's usually a problem with uh, under rotating. So you're gonna do that and you're gonna kind of have a scissor kick action. You know, back foot comes this way, flicking, flicking it, and then your front foot kicks out like this. So it's like, like that, scissors, you know? Okay, that was dumb. Uh, then after that, you're gonna want to jump as high as you can in the air 
And when you're in the air, you're going to want to spot for your board, be like, oh, yeah, that's my board. And then you're going to jump for it. You're just going to jump for your board because you want to land on it. And that's like, that's like the goal of this trick. So that's basically it. You know, you got your bend down, pressure on your back toe, flick it, flick it, kick it, and jump and land. So I'm going to get into the most common problems, or at least the problems that I had when I was learning this trick. The most, like the biggest problem for me was committing to jumping. And that's like everyone I've talked to is just like, yeah, I can't, I'm jumping, but immediately I place either my back foot down or my front foot down. And when you place your foot down, you might be getting the whole 360, but it's not really doing you any good because your foot's on the ground and your board is, you know board's on the ground too but you want to have both feet landing on the board that's like then you can roll off with style and tell your friends that you did three show that's what you want in life but the thing to fix this problem you're gonna to want to commit you're gonna to want to like cement it in your head that you're gonna be jumping and the worst that can happen is you will get hurt yeah I've gotten hurt I you know scraped up my my arms my legs you know twist a couple ankles but don't let that scare you because it's not really a big deal. You'll recover from those falls. And eventually you'll become get to the point where you're confident enough to jump, land on your board, roll away almost every time. Which is me on some days, not today. I spent a long time trying to get you some clips. So that's the first problem. You just gotta jump, commit, spot your board. You, you wanna you definitely wanna spot it so you know exactly how far to jump, where to jump, all that good stuff. And that will help you straighten out or like fix out that yeah, fix up. I am not doing good with my words. That'll help you fix what you're doing wrong. You know, hopefully I can't speak. Uh, problem number two is something I do a lot is I can jump, I can spin it, but I land either on my nose, on my tail, and the board goes like, and you know, does like 360 toy black flip, that kind of thing. And it sucks. It's annoying. And that happens when you're jumping too far. like. You want to jump just far enough off your board and land right on the bolts because that way you won't have any problems with you know flipping it up or flipping it back. So that's just the matter of finding out where you need to jump. If you're landing towards the tail, jump further. Landing towards the nose, land farther back. And uh, yeah, that's not a huge problem. It's not too hard to fix. And I think you, I think you guys can do it. Uh, and the last problem is either over rotating or under rotating, which happens but you know more so under rotating and when you're under rotating that means you're probably not putting enough pressure on your toe side edge and you're not kicking out hard enough because when you're not kicking out hard enough you're not getting the full 360 and when you're not getting the full 360 you're under rotating so to fix that you're gonna want to put more pressure right here and give it a nice hearty flick you know flick it as hard as you can and that'll probably fix out your problem if you're over rotating you, you know you're flicking you are you're like you're doing too good and you might accidentally land a 540 slide shove, which is even cooler. So, you know, if you're, yeah, you can do that too, but you know, for the sake of this trick, if you're over rotating, you're gonna wanna flick less with your back foot. You're probably kicking it out too hard. And yeah, those aren't like huge problems, especially the over rotating. That means you can, have, you know, you can get 360. Under rotating is more of a problem. So yeah, I can, I'll, you know, put a couple clips on the screen of under rotations, because I got some out there. And yeah, that's, you know, those are the basic problems that I had with this trick. And, you know, uh, variations too. Uh, I like to throw down, you know, a nice long toe side and then quickly throw a three shove at the end. Maybe uh, toe side big spin three shove, which is where you do a 180 body varial along with the three shove. You know, I recently learned a new grab where you toe side grab and then towards the end of the slide you lift up, three shove, start fakey, you can go down the hill you know, do a 180 and then flick it, three shove, and get your 540 variations going, fakey three shoves, heel side three shoves. It's all possible. You just need to learn one, and then they all come to you with practice, a lot of practice. They don't really just come. So, uh, this is my third time talking to you guys. I have a lot of footage that I can delete now, so I think this was one of my best, you know, my best run-throughs. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. 
subscribe if you aren't already. You know, you should be. Wink. Uh, and also, we recently, our last video was a uh, subscriber video contest, so I would create an edit, you know, send it in to us, and uh, you could win some nice, a nice couple set of wheels, t-shirts, you know, random boxes of fun stuff. Who wouldn't want a free box of fun stuff? Because I know I would. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I think I said that already. This has been Noah Watson. This is Trap Hut and Mitch Polish. If you're watching this, you are not the Supreme Ruler. I am. Just want to get that out there. But I love you. And this is going to end the video because this is not going anywhere. And we're good. So, see ya.